just come back to get my truck. And uh, it's raining today. It's after work. I left the job a little early today, about 4 o'clock. And um, I had the key to get the back of these woods back here, away from most of the guys that are hunting up in the front, where I took a nine-pointer. And uh, I just want to see what's going on back here. I'm soaking wet, but uh, I got one arrow missing. And uh, I picked the tree stand. I, I took my tree, this, my tree stand in with me, and I went up in, a, in a, an oak, and I was watching a valley, a small little valley where they, where they can come down off a hill. And uh, in back of me, it was a, a flat spot that went down a hill, and it, it had a lot of acorns and, and um, uh, rubs and all kinds of uh, deer activity in there. So I figured uh, I'd give it a try. And we got about an hour left before it actually dark. And a buck come in on the lower side, instead of coming down off the top steep part, he came from the lower side. And there's another woods that connects through there. He came up to me about maybe 40 yards. And he was coming in and he was so, so suspicious. He was looking all around. But I had walked down through there, so I had a feeling he might pick me up. And when he got in within about 25 yards, there was a tree right in my way. But he, he came out just enough. He got his neck and his, his front leg just enough above, uh, in front of the tree. And um, he started stretching his neck. He was really smelling on the path where I came in. And I just knew I had to take him there. So I took the shot. And we're going to go back right now. The arrow's in the ground covered with blood. And I seen him go down. He, was, he, he fell down and he got back up. And it looked like he went down a little bit further fell down so we're gonna go down there and take a look and see if we can retrieve him before it gets dark the fence that I came through is way down that other end there in between those two hills that's where I got the nine pointer back towards the, the roads by the house but I come all the way down around here and I parked right here and uh, I went up that hill I went up this hill up here, and there's another piece of woods back there that uh, connects to this piece. There's a, a whole piece here with thicket, and that's probably where it came from. It probably come out of this section here, and then went into the, the woods that I'm in, and then went up towards the end to get up the hill. So let's take a ride down and see what happens. Now you can see as we go up over this hill, that's the woods I was hunting up in. He was trying to probably get up in there. But there's another piece of woods down the bottom here. There's there. a corn. And that's what I was hunting in this little piece, or this big piece. Right down in this corn, right here. And he came in at the edge of that, right there. So he probably came from these woods over here. And he jumped, came through the field, and he entered into where I am right here. See, I thought he was going to come down out of these woods here and then work his way down back through this corner. So I was actually down through this corner, down all the way about maybe 100 yards in. But what he did was, he come from this side and walked his way in. And he came right into me. I guess I picked a real good tree. He looked like a nice, nice heavy buck. Like a, a nine or an eight or a 10 pointer, somewhere in that range.
came in and there was old rubs in here. A lot of activity of rubs. I see rubs everywhere. And small trees, big trees. All kinds of stuff rubbed around. And I walked down this path right here. And then I, I went to that side. But when he came over, he moved, he came in and he smelt where I had one in. my arrow right there. And that was a pretty, where, where, where was I now? I had to shoot, actually shoot around the tree. It wasn't, it wasn't all that easy with a shot. And you can see, you can see the blood on the fletching. It's full of blood. I have yellow and brown fletchings in there. That's pretty much it. Where the tree is. So it's up there. Yeah, that was one shot. That's the tree I was in. This white oak. This white oak right there. I was up in this white oak. So I, I had a good distance to shoot. And I had to shoot through this stuff right here. See where that arrow is. Oh, the arrow's right. Right there. The arrow. So we'll just show you where I shot from. the arrow right here. And there's the brush and that one tree right there. You see that tree right there? I'm behind that tree so I had to lean out and shoot. There's the tree back there. There's the tree. Of stuff in the way, but I got I picked a spot and went right through it. Okay, there's my arrow. I just I just lay this here. I can get this another time. I'm just telling him a lot of work to do to get that deer. I'm just gonna Leave that buried right here. I'll come back another time and get that arrow. See the blood. And he ran right through here. That was that was down and dirty. That shot. He didn't go far at all. I think he's upside down. Oh, that's a nice buck. He's nice. All upside down, they have time to tangle up in some bushes and branches. He's right next to a rub, too. Probably one that he made a double rub. Yeah, there's a rub right there a small rub and a big rub together. Ah, he's in a nice. Oh, yeah, yeah he's big boy. Hole in him, I guess. See, it's all coming out of his mouth. Nice. That rub right there. That's it. That's got to be his rub right there. Like a double rub. Look at that. 
Nice. Oh, man. He looks like he's ready for gutting. Just laying there like that. Ah, man. That's nice. Wow, look at the blood. It's just, it's everywhere. He was flipping all over the place here. Then he fell down there. Look at that. There's blood everywhere. Oh, it's right here. I'm going to put my bag in it. Identical shot. Look at that. Look at that. Identical shot. That's where it came out. Look at that. Char. Damn. I wonder if he didn't go far. Oh, he's all tangled up in it. Oh, he's a nice one. Let's see. No. Look at that hole. See, I told you I only had a neck shot. That's all I had. But it come down right through his heart. I mean, there you go. Oh, he's a biggie. Look at that. God, what a hole. Nice. He's going to be fun getting out of here. I got to go up that hill with him. Okay. What do I want to do? I'm going to have to gut him out. Got him. Check that out. <laughs> He's a big boy. Yeah. He's a biggie. I'm going to have to empty him out a little bit. Look at that. That is a nice eight point. Nice. Symmetrical. Ah. Beautiful shot, too. Now my job starts. Yep. What a beauty. 